In this demo, we will show you teamwork in the dedicated database development mode, how to resolve conflicts if two developers make different changes to the same object, how to track changes in static data, how DBForge tools detect dependent objects, how to view a change history to find out who made a change, when it was made and why, how to compare changes between different revisions. DBForge Source Control is a powerful SSMS add-in for managing SQL Server database changes and version control. The tool can link databases to all popular source control systems, including Git, GitLab or GitHub, SVN, TFS, Perforce, Mercurial, and SourceGear Vault. DBForge Source Control delivers a smooth and clear workflow in a convenient interface. First, we select a database and call a pop-up menu on it. Then we navigate to the Source Control product and select to link our database to Source Control. Now we see the Source Control configuration window where we need to specify the required connection, database, and Source Control repository. We opt for Git. Once done, we select the database development model. We have two options here. Dedicated, where each developer works on his own copy of the database, and Shared, where all developers work on a single shared database. We pick the dedicated model and link our database. As our folder is empty, we need to commit local changes to it. We want to commit all tables. Write a commit comment and hit the commit button to make an initial commit. Source control will auto-refresh, and you can see there are no changes in the objects. Try to refresh once more. Indeed, nothing in the house. Let's say we need to add extra information on our customers, like Skype address. We add a new column to the customer table and save changes to the database. Return to the Source Control Manager and refresh. We see a new table has appeared in the local changes. Let's commit the changes. If we made changes to our local database accidentally or by mistake, we can undo those changes. Let me add a new column to our customer table to demonstrate the undo feature. When we add new tables or columns to the existing tables and then go to Source Control and Refresh, we see a table to have been modified, and we can either commit or undo the changes. So we click Undo and all the changes that were made before will be washed away. You just need to select the object to undo the changes for and click Undo. There will be a warning window. You need to carefully skip through it by clicking Yes. As we can see, the changes have been undone successfully. Let me demonstrate collaborative work. The other database developer works with his local database and wants to pick up our changes to the customer table, the Skype column that we added earlier. That developer works with a powerful IDE for Microsoft SQL Server Management, Administration, Development, Data Reporting and Analysis, called DevArt DBForge Studio. He refreshes Source Control Manager in DBForge Studio and discovers that someone has added a new column to the table. Okay. Let's put the remote changes to his local database. As we see, our second developer has successfully picked up the changes that have been made previously by our first developer. Now let me demonstrate how the DBForge source control helps resolve conflicts. We have two developers, both of whom added a new column, Twitter ID, but one of them added the column as Varcher50, and the second one as nvarcher10. The first developer has already committed the changes and the second developer also tries to commit his changes. DBForge Source Control detects the conflict. We can resolve it in two ways, Get Local or Get Remote. If you select Get Local, your version of an object will be committed to the source control. And vice versa, if you select Get Remote, 
your changes will be discarded and your local database will be updated with the latest version of an object from Source Control. Ok, we decide to get my colleague's changes and click Get Remote. The Remote Changes window appears where we click Get Latest. This operation can cause data loss. Please back up your target database before performing this operation. The warning message appears, we acknowledge and click OK. The conflict is resolved successfully. The next useful feature we want to show is tracking changes in static data. Just open the Link Static Data window and select a table we want to track data changes for. As we can see, the table static data appears and we commit it. Let's make a change to the table data. As we see in the Added tab, there is Brand ID 10 and in the Changes tab, Brand ID 9 where Track will be replaced with Spark data. Now we commit the changes. Let me show you how DB Forward Source Control commits changes with the Dependency Awareness. We will use this script to create several objects. We want to add a new table, Country, to storing the country list. We also add a new column, Country ID, to the customer and add a foreign key between customer and country tables. Our review will select a country list from the country table. Let's execute an entire script to apply changes to our development database. We want to commit only the view. As we see, DB Forward Source Control warns us about dependent objects. Ok, let's commit all changes. We can view the history of all changes. To compare two separate revisions, select the required revisions from the list by holding the control button. If you want to compare any commit from the changes history and generate the update script of two changes, you can use DB Forge Schema Compare. In the type box under the source, select Source Control, then specify a repository and revision. Under the target, select a connection to the Bicycle Store Dev database and click Compare. The Schema Comparison document shows the differences between the chosen revision and the development database. To generate an update script, invoke the Schema Synchronization Wizard and click Synchronize. After that, you can review the update script and decide whether you want to deploy it against the development database. In this demo, we have demonstrated our three tools. DB Forward Source Control, the SSMS add-in for versioning database schema and data changes, DB Forward Schema Compare, the tool for comparing and syncing differences between databases or other sources like a database backup or a scripts folder in a version control system, DB Forward Studio, the most powerful IDE for database development, management, and data analysis. Thanks for watching.